Violetta is waking up in a different world. They're in Germany. Violetta and her mother fled here in June. Roman stayed behind, but is visiting them for a week. Marina and Violetta to go to Germany, it was a very hard decision for her. She couldn't imagine situations that she will be without me. And I've been there at the railway station. Marina, of course, crying. Everything goes in your brain, yeah, maybe we'll say goodbye for the last time. To be honest, I've been uh, kind of sad, but I didn't want to think about sadness. I've been happy that finally they'll be safe. Sit down, please. This you yeah. Ch oh. Chicken oh. soup. Oh. They're staying with the Lisevsky family, who live near Nuremberg. They got huge heart and huge hospitality. So for Violeta, it's like heaven, the grandma and grandpa. It's, it's something amazing, some, some miracle. <laughs> Papa, I like hot. Papa is so and strong, isn't good. What you say? You're and strong. Yeah. Ich größer. Big and strong. Yeah. I just feel full rainbow of positive emotions being here. I'm charged my batteries. Even right now, I'm ready to go back. I am staying in Ukraine after the war. I love my country. And of course, I want to be in the first step to rebuild. Almost a year after the war began, Kharkiv bears deep scars from Russia's invasion and there are growing fears of a new assault on the city. Sergei, who now lives with a neighbor, continues to roam the streets of Saltivka. Kharkiv is still in range of Russian missiles, which occasionally hit the city. Vika and her family made it out to Finland, but her grandparents remain in the suburbs of Kharkiv. Не хватает детей, все в доме. Шума, гама. Слава Богу, хоть живи, то хорошо. Все остальное дождемся и все, что там говорить.
trains are running once again in Haki's subway. Vitaly is still here. Ukraine is now warning that a major Russian offensive could begin soon on the one-year anniversary of the invasion. The people of Kharkiv watch and wait.